defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! here today, and we have a original Legendary Collection binder. So this comes with six Legendary cards and six Legendary packs. So, like I said in the mail video that I got, this set kind of got me um, back into, uh, you know, the the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! scene. Um, I always wanted the GBI God cards and I could never afford them when I was, you know, a little kid or couldn't find real copies. There's all kinds of fake copies floating around. But, um, so when this set came out, I was super, super excited about it. And I actually, um, sold, uh, I did like a pre-release sale on a lot of these cards and I'll try to find, I still have my old Troll and Toad sales history and I'll look up all the cards I bought from Troll and Toad and then sold on eBay for more expensive. So I was always kind of wheeling and dealing and that's, um, that's kind of what's always gravitated me towards Yu-Gi-Oh was wheeling and dealing, but then I end up collecting way too much. So I'm gonna have to open this off camera. All right, we're back here. We've got a, that should be a little more manageable. Um, I'm gonna probably keep the God cards in the front of the binder. So if for people unfamiliar, they're just kind of stationed in there, but I'm probably just gonna leave them in there for now. Um, I might end up uh, looking at them and seeing if they're gonna be grade worthy or not. Um, these cards are in much better condition, um, printing quality condition than um, the game board edition. So um, I thought it was worth the extra money to uh, pay for this version versus the game board version. And to show you guys um, this that are unfamiliar with the binder version. So like I said, the three God cards are sealed in the front and then we have red eyes, blue eyes, and Dark Magician here floating in with the packs. So we'll get them sleeved up here and see, I mean, that, that hollow looks like, if I could show you a, a Game Board Edition hollow, the Game Board Edition hollows they have like the, the new printing that are just like really crappy. And if we pull any hollows out of these six packs, um, those got bent or something. Yeah, so, I mean, wasn't really planning on grading these anyway, but that's gonna be a no for sure on that one. So we got our original six guaranteed hollows, and then we're gonna open them, let's see. Let's go, we're gonna go Spell Ruler first, then Pharaoh Servant, then Dark Crisis, then LOB, then Metal Raiders, and then we're finishing it off with Invasion of Chaos. So if we pull a hollow, and really even if we don't pull a hollow, I'll be able to show you another um, major difference between the Game Board Edition cards and these cards, so. This definitely wasn't the first time these packs were reprinted in Unlimited, but um, these still have pretty good quality. Um, we're gonna do three. I'm not sure if these have the rares in them. I don't think they do. So like the packs now, even if there's a hollow, they're still a rare. We have Spear, Cretan, Toll, Gaia Power, The Reliable Guardian, Whiptail Crow, Gravekeeper Servant, that's a nice one, Psychic Kappa, and Amoeba. So let's see here. So the, the reprints um, on the 
the corner uh, seal eye of Anubis, if I can get it to focus, um, has little stars in it. And so you can see on these, there are no little stars. I can't really get it to focus too well, but there are no little stars inside that corner holographic square. So um, that that is an indi major indicator on when the reprint happened. And hopefully we can pull at least one hollow to show the the quality of the hollow. We have Pharaoh's servant. Would be really, really ecstatic with any ultra. Um, the super's really good in this set too though, so would not be mad about anything really. Kind of looks like there could be something there, but hard to say. All right, we're gonna put four in the front now. So whatever, whatever rare or hollow we're getting is gonna be in the very back. We have Twin Headed Fire Dragon, Dark Bat, Gamble, Solomon's Law Book, Bubonic Vermin, Steel Org Grotto number two, Minor Goblin Official. That's a hard card to find in first edition. No way. Holy guacamole. Well, look at that print line though. So I was just talking about the, uh, so they do come with, they do come with a rare. I was just talking up the print quality and then this thing has a huge, I mean, I wouldn't say huge, but it's got a factory line running right through it. But holy crap, that's awesome. I was about ready to say I didn't know if this set got printed with um, as um, the zero zero zeros or the uh, you know I didn't know if you could get Jinto or Imperial Order. Yep, I got a big factory line running right down that though. But that's still that is awesome. Probably try to grade it still and get absolutely destroyed, but. Um, once again, it's about, you know, I'm going to look at that card and I'm going to, you know, remember this moment and it's going to cost me $8 to grade the card versus, you know, I don't really care what the grade gets because I'm not going to sell it. So that was awesome. If we are going to pull one secret, um, I wouldn't mind pulling a, uh, Trihorned or really, I mean, I wouldn't mind pulling any secret, but. I guess that would probably be up there with um, Chaos Emperor Dragon. So, well, probably gonna be all downhill from here, but I have had, uh, I haven't had like a super godly opening before, but I've definitely pulled other other cool stuff with along with a secret. So it looks like we do need to go three to the back. So if there's a hollow, there is gonna be a rare still too. Moral boost, morale boost, wow, I can't read. Despair from the Dark, Battle Scarred, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Kilbic, that looks pretty cool. Non spellcasting area, Archfiend's Oath, and Great Maju Garazette. So we'll put that up front. Well, no matter if we pull absolutely nothing, we've blown the ratio out of the water. I've opened, I think, three Pharaoh Servant 24 pack booster boxes and pulled one Jinzo, so we're doing pretty well in that regard. I think the best I've ever pulled, well, actually, I'm gonna lie. Um, I have pulled an unlimited blue eyes out of a 2002 10. So that was a really cool pull. All right. And then I pulled a light and exodia limb. But other than that, never pulled a secret. Beaver warrior, silver fang, sogan, drooling lizard, king fog, electro whip, friends panda, and Hain Hain Kumotoku. Good old Hain Hain. All right. 
So we have Metal Raiders up next. So yeah, for um, you guys buying a bunch of like LLB reprint packs and Metal Raiders reprint packs, you could buy this with six packs and the six um, promo cards for about $50. So, um, or even the game board edition that still doesn't have as good a print quality, but um, you just get a lot more if you're gonna uh, throw your money at, you know, old unlimited packs. Castle of Dark Illusions, Hayusube, Deep Sea Shark, Illusionist Faceless Mage, Protector of the Throne, Skull Knight, Tribute to the Doom, super rare, so awesome. Cannon Soldier and a Destroyer Golem. So, pretty good opening here. Hopefully we can get one more hollow, but that's what, I mean, you're always hoping for a hollow. But if we could pull a uh, Black Luster Soldier, or a uh, Dark Magician of Chaos, that would be an epic, epic godly opening here. Possibly something. So we'll do three from the back. All right. Energy Drain. Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Sacred Crane. A Hero Emerges. Cannon Ball Spear Shellfish. Dun, dun, dun. Soul Tiger and Amphibious Bugroth MK3. We are getting a Robin Zombie. Skull Mark Ladybug. So could not pull off the last pack of magic, but I'm not gonna complain. Get it. All right. So we'll recap here. We got our six hollows. Like I said, keeping the three uh, god cards sealed up. So we have alternate prints, alternate artworks of blue eyes, dark magician, and red eyes. And then we pulled a tribute to the doomed out of metal raiders. And. Secret rare magic here. Jinzo. So, really glad I could pull this guy. Have it PSA 10 in first edition, but still, that, I mean, that is true nostalgia right there. So, look at that shine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. Uh, I definitely did. Um, I'm sure I'll have more crazy, crazy openings in the future. Uh, I have some stuff planned back. It's so maybe some legendary duelist sealed boxes or things like that. So be on the lookout for that. Comment, subscribe if you're not. And as always, thanks for watching.